to be back again. It looks like a, a lot of people out tonight. But hopefully, some of them will come on in after a while. A lot of you know, there's still a lot of sickness. So keep praying for the ones that are sick. And see Sister Lorraine here again tonight. And keep praying for her. Keep praying for me. And see Rachel back tonight after missing a while. But somebody said she had two big holes back here in her throat. I said, well, that's because you took two big things out of there. So it'll leave a hole in there, won't it? But thank God she's doing all right. Keep praying for the ones that are sick. I don't know who all is, but. And if you're watching the news, you hear so many of them holler, Russia's going to take the world over. Russia's not going to take the world over. Russia's there for a purpose. Amen. And I believe we're seeing part of that purpose right now. Amen. And it's sad, the things that are going on, very sad. I think even the Russian people, they are threatening them with so many years in prison if they talk to any media or anything. That's their own people. And he's taking out everything he can over in Ukraine so they can't, the world can't see what he's doing. They're even firing now. I was watching that some of the news reporters was there and doing, doing the news on it. And they start firing on them. He don't want the world to see what he's doing right now. But it's bad. And when you watch that and see, what is it, 140 some million already had to leave. Now think about that. We're talking about people that's leaving, probably never have a home to come back to. A lot of them women and children will never have a husband to come back to. They're getting killed. Watch the day as Ukrainians shot one of the Russians planes down and whoever's in that didn't have a chance but what them poor people are going through over there now and there's reports now whether it's true or not that they're even raping the women their husbands you know they're away from their husbands now and the Russian soldiers are raping some of the women that, that's pitiful Amen. what they're having to go through and to see the little baby screaming and crying until they can't even hardly get their breath because of what's going on, scared to death. That's hard on a mother that's got to stand there and hold that child doing this. And one dad this week, I seen where he was just laying over his son's body, a shake, and he's crying so hard. It's a sad time, very sad. Now they done took over two of the biggest nuclear power plants in Ukraine that's in the world. Why does he want all this? They thought it was going to, where there was fire on it and the fire started. They didn't hit these, what do you call them? Uh, huh? Reactors. Reactors. Didn't hit them and some of them said, well, if it hit them, it would have exploded and that would have been bad for the whole world. Do we realize what's going to happen when they start throwing these nuclear bombs? There's no hiding place. It will fill the world with all of this nuclear stuff and that'll be the end of it. But ain't you glad for one thing? Now they're talking about, I was trying to think of the name of this bomb that they say that Russia's using. They're not supposed to do it. They're going to say they're charged him with war crimes and things because he's doing it. Does anybody know what the name of it is? Cluster bombs. Is that right? And some of them said, well, what they named off several of them bombs they're throwing now. And they tried to explain one of the fellows that was in the war had his leg shot off and he was there on Fox News. He was talking about, I forget what the name of that one was, and he said, more than likely, Russia will start throwing that. And he said, a bunker won't do you no good. 
don't matter how deep you get, because that bomb will penetrate through all of that and get to the people, and then the chemicals and things that's in it will kill them from the inside out. These things, a lot of people say, well, why do they make something like that for? The prophet said they're building a bomb that will destroy their own self. God won't destroy anything. But that prophet said, I forget how he named it now, but he's talking about how many bombs was hanging over there. And said Russia had jets, machines that they could send the bombs all the way out to the United States that far and go back without fuel. They're ready for everything. But when it comes down to it, the whole world hollering, well, Russia's going to take the world over and all this. The prophet said, no, not communism. Romanism. It's took the world over completely. And I believe these fellows like him, well, you can't see him much now. He's in hiding. But well, he just seemed to kill his own people. And if they talk to the news media, I think it's something like 15 years they'll get in prison. And he'll do it. He's just that just that bad. But ain't you glad for one thing? I know people say, well, is it ever going to affect us here? It already is. Yeah. And you know, people just go around on like, oh, nothing's not going on. Yeah, there's war in the world right now. Yeah. And it's not a World War III yet, but I believe it will eventually lead up to that. And when it does, how sad that it's going to be. Because right now, what is it costing you to fill your vehicle up with gas? Stop and think about it. Go to the grocery store. But ain't you glad the ones the prophet said that would do what God has told them to do, he'd take that one dollar and go to work. A hundred dollars wouldn't go. He'll. People, I'm just telling you, he'll do it. We don't need a bunker to hide in. We don't need none of that stuff. All we need is the word. Amen. Now, if you got the word on your side, then you are the word. Amen. And you don't know how much we say we believe it. If we don't live it, then we don't believe it. Amen. So, he'll stretch a dollar where a hundred dollars wouldn't go. Amen. I believe a tank of gas would go where it would never go before. Why? We have obeyed God. We've done what God said to do. Amen. So, look up. Ain't but, it's like I said, the mask or nothing else would stop what's going on out there, but I know one thing it will. Amen. I believe it's the word. He'll take care of his own. And can I tell you this? Not a whole lot. I studied this morning and last night too. And listening to so many people, well, there's one woman that come on, and you know, most of them out there hate William Brown. You got all kind of impersonators, like I was trying to think of the one's name there now. Big, he was in the prophet service. He's the one that said, I saw Jesus in that little man. Just forget all this silly stuff later. I mean, these are worldwide preachers. And when you hear him, he's talking about being in that prophet's meeting. T.L. Austin, that's who it was. Said, I sat there and I was waiting when he asked us to bow his head. He's going to pray for some little crippled kid that was dying or something or other. And Said he said, everybody bowed. He said, I bowed mine. He said, I was listening, boy, I was ready to jump up and start going after because when we cast the devil out, we were screaming and hollering and shouting. And he said, all of a sudden, he said, all right, you can raise your head. The little child is here. Go on. Then he goes out. He said, I can do that. I know I can do that. Talking about the healing and all that. He said, I know it, well, it's worldwide, over in other countries and everything else. And he does that. They'll shout, scream, and holler, but they left the word behind completely. Amen. Every one of them. And when it comes down to that, how sad it is that they're going to come one day. So I was watching that one woman. I can't remember her name. She's supposed to have visions and dreams, and they all are real. And she said something about looking into hell. God let her look into hell. She saw a man there. Some of you may have read this. Or listen to it. She's all over YouTube too. She said, I said, I know that man from somewhere and whoever was standing there next to her was telling her what was going on, I guess I angle or something. She said, who is that man? 
So they said, that's William Brown in hell. So well, why is he here? Said because of all the false prophecies that he done while he was on earth. This is where he had to go. And when you hear that, it just makes chills run all over you. I know one that did see in hell. And I'm going to tell you what it's all. Women like Baptists making these remarks. Amen. With paint on the face, the hair cut off, dressed like men. That's what he saw in hell. Amen. And that's exactly what they're going to find out before long. But all the screaming and crying they'll do then. Oh, I've been told you. They really think they got rid of that message that he left here because he's gone. It ain't been going around the world and having big revivals preaching what he left here. Talking about the message. But they're going to find out before long the message didn't go anywhere. Amen. It's still right here on earth. Amen. And that word that he left here would take every one of them off of the face of this earth Amen. before long. You believe that? Are you holding on to that? I... Well, some of the things I'm going to read here in a minute. In the seven seals, you want to be turned in there. Well, we stopped the other night, Sunday night. That's all I get on my mind now. That's what they're playing in Indiana, these seals. And I said, when we hear the prophet talking about the visions he had in 33, I'm going to ask you, is about every one of them come to pass? Because he prophesied that they would. Amen. We believe that, don't we? Amen. Did he prophesy about the Catholic Church and the denominations all coming together? Did they do it? Amen. He spoke it. It had to happen. But when I start reading here in a minute, don't miss this. There are seven thunders that he talks about in here and what they will do when they appear. It's already in the book right here. Everything that we're hearing right here. It had to come to him. But when we hear that, do we believe that's going to come to pass? Amen. He's the one said seven thunders will do this. That's right. Amen. He's the one seven thunders will reveal that. He said they're even holding that mystery. Amen. So if he said it, you hold on to that just like you did everything else he said. Amen. And watch it come to pass in your life. Amen. So I read this the other night on page 503. I'm going to try to get started pretty quick. And when I read it, the first thing about what his revelation is, well, that's what we want. His revelation on the seventh seal. And then I read it, and it said, it's in a threefold manner. I want to speak to you by God's help of a fold of it. And I asked you something right then when I read that. Did you believe there's three folds of it? Amen. Wonder why he said, I'll tell you of a fold of it. Amen. Wonder why he didn't say all three. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. It's in a threefold manner, and I won't tell you what all three of them are. He said, Let me tell you about a fold of it. Amen. This is the revelation God Amen. gave me, he said. Amen. What it is? Them seven thunders. Well, when them seven thunders the prophet said, the coming of the Lord, and I'm going to say it this way so you'll get it. The coming of the Lord, he come riding in on a white horse. He'll be completely the Emmanuel, the Word of God incarnate in a man. That was William Brown. There's a fold of it. Then we know what the other fold is because the thunders is revealing that. The prophet said, I can't. He won't let me. I got rug right here. Stop. Don't go any further than this. When the third bull comes, do not try to explain it. Do you believe what it said though? Amen. Then you got to hold on to that. Amen. But when he said, let me tell you a fold of it, it's these thunders. Amen. Then over here, we're reading it a little bit. I'm getting all this on your mind. He said, the reason they would not know the coming of the Lord, they also would not know this seven thunder mystery because it's connected together. Amen. So he had to tell you about this fold of it so the bride will be listening in, Amen. riding on that same word with not one word missing. You can't say I'm doing everything but this one thing. No, you're not the bride unless you're living every word God spoke in this Bible. Amen. So I want all that on your mind. I want you to listen. Ain't that where I stopped the other night when I read that paragraph? I believe I didn't read any more. And he said, let us prove. It's a secret that no one knows about. 
And this tires people up, but I'm going to repeat it. I'm not reading right now, but I'm going to repeat it. What them thunder say was never written in the Bible. Amen. Amen. Now, what will your loved ones say in these denominations? Well, you're adding to it or taking it away from it. Moses wrote the old, Paul wrote the new, William Brandon gave the bride a Bible. Amen. And that's why a lot of ministers out here says, I can't find in my Bible where Joseph was a prophet. They don't have the right Bible. Amen. You got the Bible for the bride in this day, you'll see that Joseph is a prophet. Amen. You'll see there's got to be seven thunders to reveal all this. Amen. You'll find out that them thunders will reveal the new name. Amen. It's already been spoken in the book right here. Right. Now, do you believe him? Amen. Do you believe the seven thunders will reveal the new name? Amen. Now, it's all in the book right here. This is your book of redemption. Right. There's not another book. The Bible said the other night we read it, you couldn't even ask your doctor who you are, where you come from, or where you're going to. But this book right here can tell. Amen. Oh, my, that ought to hit us wide open. This will take you all the way back before the world ever was framed. You was in him before the foundation of the world. Amen. He'll show you who you are, where you come from, and also where you're headed to. Amen. Is that the message of the hour now? Amen. Now listen close. And I know a lot of people, and if you let that bother you, people out in the world say, well, if it ain't written in the Bible, I don't want it. Then they don't know that prophet. Amen. 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 Because if you believe him, and I have read it how many times? I'm looking down here, going to be on several pages, even in this sample seal. What them thunders say was never written in the Bible. Amen. Then you got to go back to the Bible. And that prophet, I listen to a lot of things where he's talking, showing up in the, uh, I don't know if you watched it this week on February the 28th. And they put it up like the voice of God does there about. When the cloud appeared to show a little man like Brother Branham out in the canyon there where all this was taking place, the rocks rolling over the side of the hill. I said, how can they miss this? <clears throat> when he was talking about it, he said, there I was, and this would be in what is the attraction on the mountain. He said, there I was, not even thinking about the prophecies. And all of a sudden, Said I sat down like the Indians of my legs crossed. Said all of a sudden I looked down on my Richard leg and there was a what do you call it? Uh, Cockleburg, we call them here. How many has ever got one on you? Oh, I have out in the cornfields and things. They stick to you. And he said I looked down and there that cockleburg was on my. I said I just picked it up, got it off, and when I did, I said, Well, that's odd. Here I am in the desert. Here I am picking this cockleburg off of my trouser leg. But Joseph's 40 miles away and uh, two something waiting on me. Think about that. Why did he have to put that in there? Because he's in the desert, like the vision showed him. He's picking the sandbar off, like the vision showed him. But he knows Joseph had to be there. How plain is that to you? But look how many preachers have missed it because they can't find this stuff in their Bible. But we got a Bible. We find everything we're hearing in right here if you only believe it. But you got to believe it. It can't be a make-believer. can't be an unbeliever. It's got to be a believer. You got to believe every word he says. Now, listen close. No one knows about it. John was forbidden to write about it. Couldn't even write a symbol about it. Why, this is why there was no activity in heaven that might give away the secret. Do you see it now? If it's so great, it must be included. What? These seven thunders. It's got to happen. But when the seven thunders, said, now when the seven angels came forth to sound their trumpets, there was one thunder. He knocks on the pulpit one time. When time shall be no more, the last trumpet, one thunder. But here is seven straight thunders right in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he says that a couple of times. He knocked on the pulpit seven times. Then heavens couldn't write that. 
Heavens can't know about it. How important was that to keep all of that a secret, even from the angels? Amen. Jesus said, it's talking about the coming of the Lord now. Jesus said, said I don't even know when it's going to happen. I don't know what it'll be. You believe that? Amen. Then how blessed are we? Amen. Something that was never written in the Bible. Amen. Hope it's ain't flying right over our heads. So one day the bride's got to realize who she is. Amen. And when she does, the rapture, he did not say the rapture will stop, but that rapture will move on. Amen. Amen. How many believe we're at the top of the pyramid like we were talking about over the weekend? Amen. And right in the top of it, and that prophet said, it would take them seven thunders to cap that pyramid off. Amen. But there's a special angel in the top of that pyramid. The thunders had that message. Amen. There's a new name in that pyramid. Amen. The thunders had that new name for the bride. Amen. Oh my, I hope you're getting it. Lord help us. Now, it was so great, I think this is where I'm at now. It was kept a secret from the angels. Why? If Satan should get a hold of it, he might do great damage. There's one thing he don't know. He can interpret anything he wants to, impersonate any kind of a gift, and he's doing it all over the world right now. Said, I hope you're learning, but he can't know this. And here it is again. It's not even written in the Word. It is a total secret. Amen. And we sit here in a little place like this and in on that mystery Amen. that John couldn't write. Amen. But ain't you glad for one thing? Amen. That prophet taken off to Sabino County. Upset. What's going to happen, Lord? What is this? Now, that's before the cloud appeared. What is this all about? He said, I threw my hands up to pray and all of a sudden, and if you've ever been out there, you can, I was trying to show some on the phone this week. If you're up in that canyon looking around, I can stand up in Sabino Canyon and look out all over Tucson. They'd never see me up in there, but I can see all over Tucson. You can look this away, and I tried to explain it like this. You can see from here to Rona because there's nothing there to stop it. That's how far you can see. And the Bible said, when that Cloud appeared, said he heard a blast, and way off in the distance, way off into eternity, I saw a little shape of something coming faster than you could match your eye. That is how far he could see. That's how far they traveled in a moment and a twinkling of an eye. Amen. He said, the men of God don't have anything that you even think about keeping up with him. And they got some fast jets, but it never keep up with that. So, Keep these things in mind. And there is things, miles and miles around, he can look and not see a person around anywhere with his hands up and all of a sudden, just like this microphone here, there's a sword in his hand. He wasn't imagining that. He said, I looked and said, well, where did that come from? So really started looking around and said, who put that in my hand? There ain't nobody here. I know who put it in his hand. Amen. Do you? Amen. And then a voice from heaven. He had the word. He done made it plain. I laid my Bible down. I laid the little tablet down. So how many believe the Bible's the word? Amen. But when that Bible is interpreted completely, then he opened the top of the pyramid up. Amen. The prophet made this statement. America received her last chance. 1956 and 57. That was the last chance they'll have. Amen. What happened after that? Here come the seals. Amen. God took him off of the scene in them years to rest a while. When he come back on the scene, the seals come open. Amen. That was not to the world. Amen. I hope you caught what I just said. Amen. And seals were not to the world as only to the bride of Christ. Amen. And that's why I said America received her last chance. Now I'm going to ask you, are you in on these seals? Amen. What does that tell you then? You had to be one of them. So I wasn't even born. It don't matter if you're born or not. Amen. Before the foundation of the world was when your name was put in this book right here. Amen. Not any other book. This book we got. The Lamb's Book of Life. This is it. This is what he paid for. Amen. Did he do it? Amen. Did he die for this right here? But he did not need it. Amen. I needed it bad. You needed it bad. But he didn't need it. So when he died for it, he made sure it had to come to the hands of the one that he died for. Amen. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm one of them. I'm going to stand up again because these feet 
or give me a fit again. I done knocked my lid to my bottle down here. I can't help it, I have to hit this Bible stand sometimes. But then there he is standing up, it's holding in his hand. And how many believe when John started writing what them thunders said, a voice from heaven, the prophet said, God. Spoke and said, John, don't write it. Amen. He said, write what? What they said. He said, it wasn't just a noise. They said something. But I believe the same voice, when that sword hit his hand, spoke from heaven and said, that's the sword of the king. Amen. Amen. So here's the Bible. He's done laid it down. It's over. Been interpreted completely. But your name had to be in another book. Which is the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. So the America received her last chance back then, but not that bride. Amen. Amen. The bride, the promise said, it'll take seven dollars to wake her up again. Amen. And one time when that prophet first left here, they was on fire. People was. Oh my, what's going to happen? This is going to happen. That's going to what they guessing. And that's why the prophet said, now when this seal is open tonight, don't just go and start doing this and that and the other, just live good, clean lives and watch. Amen. If he wants you to have this, he'll get it to you. Amen. I don't know about you, but I believe he wanted me to have it. Amen. Are you one of them? Amen. Now, help me here, it's not even written the word, angels, everything, shut up. If they made one move, it might give something away. So they just shut up. Quit harping. Everything stopped. Seven, God's perfect number. Seven, he knocks on the bullpit seven times. Just right down the road, seven thunders, others straight together like they were spelling out something. At that time, John started to write it. He said, don't write that. Now, ain't that something? And they said, well, it had to be written in the Word. If you believe that prophet, you know it wasn't written in the Word. Amen. But if you believe he was a prophet, then the word comes to the prophet. Then that makes that prophet the word for your day. Amen. Now, Jesus never spoke of it. John couldn't write it. Angels know nothing about it. What is it? It's the thing that Jesus said even the angels of heaven didn't know nothing about. It. He didn't know it himself. Glory. Think about that. Why? It wasn't time to be revealed. Only God would know it. But he told us when we began seeing these signs coming up. Now you're getting somewhere. All right? Notice, we begin seeing these signs coming up. If Satan should get a hold of it. Now here it is, and I want you to catch this. I'm going to try to explain this paragraph good right here. If you want something to happen, you'll have to take my word for this. If I'm planning on doing something, I know better than to tell anybody about it. Not that that person would tell it, but Satan will hear it. Man. He can't get it in my heart there, as long as God has got it closed up with his Holy Spirit. So that's between me and God. He don't know nothing about it until you speak it. Then he hears it, and I've tried, said, I tell people I'll do a certain, certain thing and watch the devil cut off everywhere he can to get there to beat me to it. But if I can get the revelation, did he get the revelation on the Sabbath? Amen. If I can get the revelation from God, just don't say nothing about it, then it's different. Amen. Now, what did the angel tell him? That first pull, the second pull, you done the very thing I told you not to do. You got on the platform and made a show out of it. Now look what all you caused out here. All these impersonators. But when that third bull comes open, do not try to explain it. Amen. Now what they say right here, when I get to Revelation, just don't say nothing about it. How many times did he come in here and we'll read it over here a little further. I keep bringing these things in. He said, I've seen it unfold to these seven thunders. Amen. Is that what he said? Amen. I'm quoting it, but we'll read it. That's as far as we can go right there. Amen. He's seen it unfold. I believe he heard him saying something. Amen. Amen. Glory. We know he said John heard them 
thunder saying so. But he wasn't allowed to write it. But God come in this day and put it in the prophet's hand. Amen. Then the prophet, when he left here, turned around and put it in somebody else's hand. Amen. And the bride is in on all these mysteries. Amen. Now, remember, Satan will try to impersonate anything that the church will do. He tried to do it, and notice, we notice it through the Antichrist. But this is one thing he cannot impersonate. There'll be no mimics to this because he don't know it. There's no way for him to know it. It's the third pool. Now, what did the angel tell him? You try to explain the other two and you made a mess. But don't explain this. This is the third pool. Set a seal. Don't try to explain it. But he'll leave the mess message here telling you how you'll get it. <clears throat> no other way to get it. I don't care what we say. <clears throat> he just knows nothing about it. He doesn't understand it. But there's a secret that lays beneath that. He knocks on the pulpit. Glory to God in the house, I can never think the same. The rest of my life, when I've seen it, I don't know what. I know the next step there but I don't know how to interpret that. It won't be long, I've got wrote down here. When it happened, if you can see here, stop. Go no further than this right here. I'm not prone to be a fanatic. I'm just telling you the truth. Amen, glory. What did he say there? Listen to that again. I know the next step, but I don't know what or how to interpret that. Over here a few pages, Father, he said, Talk about them thunder. He said, I don't know who's going to do it. In other words, I don't know who they'll be. I don't even know what will happen right then. But I know it was them seven thunders. Amen. He knows something most of the world knows nothing about. Most of the people that's in the message knows nothing about. Now, then he tells about the little shoe. Hey, always tried to explain how that the soul lay next to so and so the inner conscience and all that kind of stuff, which had only made a big bunch of impersonations start after it. How they have to take up the hand, hold the people, have vibrations, everything had a vibration in their hand. You remember talking about A. Richard Hall the other night? This W.B. Grant Jr. I never did see the older man, but his son come up and the prophet, you know, preached there at W.B. Grant's place in Dallas, Texas. Here come H. Richard Hall and all of them. Oil coming up on, I've been in Hall's meeting when the oil did, hold her hands up praying. Walk up there and he, he showed them why dripping right out the end of her fingers and dripped to the floor. And the prophet said, somebody come through with something like that, people will go after him. Rally around him. Oh, it's got to be of God. He said, don't you know that ain't God. Amen. Think about that. It happened in A.A. Allen's meeting. They thought that was one of the greatest things that ever happened. Hall's meeting the same way. Then here was H. Richard Hall. The last few years that he was here on earth preaching. Started out good. Put a paper out every month. He'd always put a quote of a service of the prophet on the front page. He finally stopped that. Then he started calling women to preach. And even made fun. Said they look like, said you don't have to dress like an old uh, gypsy or something other way he worded it. Cut them down. Pick yourself up, try to look good. There they was, slacks on in the service. <clears throat> Paint all over the face. Women preaching. He's calling them to preach. Did he stand out there in front like that and call until he died? And you know that prophet when he was up there, he said, If thou canst believe. All things are possible. Amen. Well, then there was H. Richard Hall. If thou canst believe. See, he said in that prophet's services. My dad sat with him one time on the platform. And he gathered my dad and he said, look at there. It's Elijah on that man. My dad said, I'm looking at Elijah in that man. Amen. Amen. See, they was there. And then they started off. <clears throat> and I know when somebody go, I went to a service, Brother Jesse then. The last time up in Galax. We was the only ones in there. You can tell by looking at the people that believed that message. 
And while he was preaching, he had to say a few things. And he talked about great men before him. He said, I have been. He wasn't telling nobody else. Nobody else said, I couldn't get. I have been to Indiana. Knelt down at William Branham's grave and cried like a baby. That will not get him to heaven. Amen. You can kneel there all day and all night. That will not get you to heaven. Amen. Then he said, start making remarks. Oh, people want to talk about today. Oh, made a face, some kind of eagle or something. He said, my Bible tells me he's a little dove. See, just something to cut that message down there. But he's gone on tonight. Amen. God have mercy on them. All these impersonators. But they'll never impersonate this right here. Amen. Why? They know not one thing about it. Amen. But you're in on it. Big ministers. Known around the world. And they know nothing about it. But we walk around. People that they look at and laugh. Make fun of. Amen. Criticize. Talk about. Amen. And he gave you the book. Thank you, Lord. He gave you the deed. Amen. That he died for. Amen. And laid it in our hands. Amen. And the devil. Oh how they're going to be surprised before long. We own this world we're on right now. Amen. Russia don't own it. U.S. don't own it. China don't own it. None of them. But we own this world we're standing on. Amen. And before long, we're going to take it back. Amen. You watch what's going on now. These nuclear bombs and things. How many believe all the kingdoms of the world coming down? Amen. It's got to happen. But there's one kingdom here he'll never take off. Amen. It's going to remain. It'll rise right here on this earth. Amen. And I want to be part of that kingdom. What about Amen. you? Amen. Now, but you remember, I think this is where I'm at now. When he took me up there and said, this is that third pool, and no one will know it. Listen to every word he said now. You remember that? Visions never fail. Amen. No one will know it. What them thunder said could not be even written in the Bible. Because all down through them years, Satan would have got to start trying to do something with it. Amen. But if it's thunders on earth, Satan didn't do nothing with them. He didn't have nothing to do with them boys. Amen. And he'll never have anything that can impersonate it. Amen. But there are seven of them on earth, some more or another. Amen. You know what they've got? That same word, that same sword. That William Murray Branham had in his hand. Amen. Glory. Not a different, not adding nothing to it, not taking it away from it. Ain't you glad? All down through the years, didn't matter how rough it got, even on marriage and divorce, them thunders would never let up. Amen. They'd hold on to it when everybody was turning again. Amen. People right in the building here started walking out. Amen. What? Because of that message. Amen. And there are only be a handful that's going to make it to the other side. Amen. I don't know about you, but I want to be part of that little handful. Something going on. So remember the constellation? So Charlie and I here, here you are. Something going on, I told you this week. It's been all around you, but I wonder if you noticed it. Remember the constellation, the, the vision of the angels when I left here to go to Arizona? You remember what time is it, sirs? Can I tell you what time it was? Time was running out. Amen. America had received her last chance. Man, all oh, here, look at all these preachers, Benny Hinn and all that, they're going around. Winning America, winning the world for Jesus. Listen at the swaggers. Oh, we're winning millions to him, and none of them have a chance. God sent a prophet, they turned to him down. That was it. But somebody, he got a hold of. Somebody, he called out. Just think of how many of you be sitting in a denomination. Somewhere right now. If he hadn't got a hold of you. Say that that promise done gone home, but that word never left you. Never. 
Notice, now I hope you catch this. I'm going to go ahead and read the scripture. I saw when the Lamb, when he had opened the first seal, and I heard as it was the voice of thunder, one of the four beasts said, Come and see. Now notice one thunder, seven messages that's been sealed up and cannot be revealed until the last days of this age. See what I mean? You, have you noticed the mysterious part of this week? That's what it is. That's what it's been. Not a human being, a man. It has been the angels of the Lord. Did that prophecy every day when I go in that room? The angel would meet me. Amen. The one with the first seal. The one with, the, I mean, we was the seven of them. But I believe we are in on a mystery that most of them know nothing about that Sabbath angel. Amen. That meant so much to that prophet. And even at the end of this seal, he's talking about that angel. He said, That is the seventh seal. That is the coming of the Lord. Amen. Now the seven thunders are in on the mystery and it's called the coming of the Lord. Amen. And nobody knows when he's coming or how, but there will be. Amen. Something that Jesus said, I don't even know it. He couldn't speak it. But seven thunders had it. Amen. Now what are people doing? Trying to make fun of William Brandon because he's done God. I read what they're saying and listen to what they're saying. Well, he said that he was that seventh angel messenger to the last age. And that that angel would be on earth when this happens in Revelation 10, when this angel comes down, sets one foot on land, one on sea, says time has run out. He said he would be, this seventh angel would be on earth at that time. He said he'd done gone, so it was false prophecy. They missed it. Amen. But you're in on it. Amen. He was here on earth. Right. Time run out when the seals come open. You believe that? Amen. They received their last chance in the 50s, the late 50s. Amen. But the seals come open. Time run out. Amen. So, did you get what I said a while ago? America, this did not come to the rest of the world. Amen. Oh, go all the way back. Go back to the beginning. Was the lamb slain before the foundation Amen. of the world? Amen. Glory. When he come to fulfill all of that, did they hang him on a tree? Amen. Did they crucify him? Amen. Did he ascend on high? Amen. Was he laying there on the altar Amen. for 2,000 years? Amen. Is that right? Amen. But at the end of that 2,000 years, the prophet said, he had to get up. He had to come forth. And when he come forth, he come forth with the rights. Amen. And right here is the rights. Amen. Right here is a book I hear most of the world holler. I believe my name's in that Lamb's Book of Life. I don't believe mine's there. I know mine's there. Amen. What about you? Amen. He died for this book right here which is the Word, which is the Bride. Amen. I read it to you here not long ago. He come to get the book. The book is Him. Amen. And the book is the Word. And the Word is the Bride. Amen. He come to get you. Not this paper right here, but everything. Is my name in there? They asked the prophet that question. Is my name in that book? He said, I don't know, but if it was, it put there before the foundation of the world. Amen. That's on page 99 in this book right here, in the breach. Amen. If it was, it put on there before the foundation of the world. But the first thing to represent that redemption, if you are one of them, if you are one of them, I'm saying that so you'll get it. The Lamb walked out, ripped the seals apart, sent them down to the earth to William Murray and Branham. He didn't say it that way, but I will to William Burr Branham to give it to his bride. Amen. That's the ones he died for. Amen. That's the ones he paid the price for. Amen. Now, the world is in one of the worst shapes it's ever been. Amen. Right now, we live in a Sodom and Gomorrah. Amen. Never heard such trash in all my life. The world is totally insane. Amen. 
Look around you. I'm not talking about over here now where mothers are dying, babies dying in their arms, daddies crying because they had to stay and fight this war that's going on. Being blown to pieces. Their homes being blown to pieces. And here we sing. Enjoying the blessings of God. Amen. And I wanted to walk back out the door and start complaining about this and that and the other. When we ought to be the happiest people on the face of this world. Why? We have something to be happy about. The world's upside down. Did that probably say this world will go totally insane? He said, if you want to know if you've got God or not. He said, oh, everybody hollers. I've got it. I believe in him. I'm living for it. He said, just you yourself, watch your actions. Amen. Watch where you go. Amen. Watch who you hang with. Amen. Watch how you talk. Amen. Watch the language you use. Then you know if you got him or not. Because he will not live in a body with trash in it. Amen. With the filth, right. the language that you hear in this stuff. Amen. He won't live there. Amen. Cigarette smokers. Amen. Beer drinkers. Amen. Drug users. Amen. Filthy talk. He can't live in a vessel like that. Amen. It's either God or Satan, one or the other. Amen. So what's going down? Everything that's unlike God is going down before long. And we read to you the other night, this word is the very thing that slays the devil. Amen. He'll call for the fowls of the air and the beasts of the field. Come and eat their dead bodies that are laying around everywhere. Come and eat them. Eat the flesh of them. Mighty men. Captains and all. But there's a little bride rejoicing all the time. Amen. It's a scary time, people. And as I told you, these bombs, wait till they all get started. They're already hollering. What can we do? What can we do? Then one of this Senator Graham made the statement. I was watching the news when he said it. He said, the only thing that will stop what's going on over there, how many heard that? Is somebody to take him out. Well, they're upset. He should not have made that remark. So that's going to make him mad. He's going to start doing that. All, all of this has to come together. Amen. But I can tell you, they took the nuclear plants over, two of them already, the biggest ones in the world, some of the biggest. What's going to happen when all of this starts happening? All these nuclear bombs start flying. They're in one safe place. It's not a bunker in the ground. Amen. But I can tell you what it is. It's called the Word of God. Amen. No devil can penetrate through that. Amen. You'll be safe. You'll be took care of. Amen. All the kingdoms are coming down. They're going to burn. Amen. But there's one going to remain right here. Amen. And it takes people to make a kingdom. Is that right? Amen. But they're coming down. But there's one going to remain here. I want to be one in that kingdom. Amen. Lord help us all. You help me keep up where I'm at here now. There is, let's turn that down right there just a minute. I see that. I believe that hand is loose there. It looks like when it hit 8 o'clock it failed. You might have to fix that thing. I'm just joking, but it does seem like it sometimes. I want to jump over here. Just ahead of myself a little bit because there's a lot in between here that we're going to get. And I want to drill this like I was talking about at the first of the service. What this great secret on page 512, I'm sorry, I usually tell you where I'm at. I'm going to start at the top. What am I trying to say this for, friends? Is to show you we're at the end time. If that mother's is perfectly on the dot with the word, so is this perfectly on the dot with the word. We are here. We're at the end, friends. Now listen to this, and I want you to catch this. Then think about how many's watching any of this on the news, this war. See all these rockets flying through the air. 
See that Russian jet take off and the rain just shoot it down, just exploded right there in the air. Raping the women, the Russian soldiers are. Their president there in Russia, or their leader, trying to make sure, firing on the media over there that's doing the news. He don't want no news media in there showing the world what he's doing. It's that bad. But some of them are still there. It's getting worse day by day by day. And it's going to keep on getting worse. And he warned anybody. Some of them trying to make them put up a, well, a leader there in Ukraine. Said, please, put up a no-fly zone here. When he heard that, he threatened any third party that even comes in and tries to fix a no-fly zone there. They're in trouble like they've never seen before. He means it. And the first ones that start sticking their nose in it, then here goes all these other countries throwing their nuclear bombs. It's got to happen. Sooner or later, it's got to happen. Amen. But ain't you glad a message is here on earth? Amen. The only safe place we could ever even think about being. I can tell you this, young man, young women, old man, old women, whatever you are, the things of the world out here just got to get out in and mess around. They're not going to mean nothing to you then. Amen. Everything's going down. Amen. Only the Word will remain right here. Amen. So where are you rejoicing at? Amen. I just quoted the prophet a while ago. Yeah, I can tell you. I can read everything I'm telling you. Amen. He said, watch your own self. See where you go. See the company you hang around with. Amen. See how you act. You know if you're gods or not. Amen. Nobody will have to tell any of us. Amen. Soon it will be time has run out. Millions will lose their life. Millions will be that now believe that they are saved will be counted father for the atomic age. Oh, we die. Amen. How many knows what he's talking about? Amen. Father for the atomic age. Burn! Amen. <laughs> we are living in the last hour. By the grace of Almighty God, by His help to His people, that they might look forward to the soon appearing of Christ. How long, Brother Branham? Now listen, people, this was in the 60s. 1963. How long, Brother Brown? Maybe 20 years? Maybe 50 years? Maybe 100 years? I don't know. Maybe in the morning. Maybe yet tonight. I don't know. Anybody says they do, they're wrong. They don't know. Only God knows. Amen. Might be counted what? Father for the atomic age. Amen. That age is here. How long has it been since this cloud appeared? 59 years. Amen. How long has it been since these seals was open? Think about it. Amen. What did he say? Maybe 50. Might be 100. Might even be tonight. And here we are. 60 years or better down the road. Amen. And what did he say? Just live good Christian lives. Amen. If he wants you to have this. Glory. Thank you. He'll get it to you. Amen. That run all over me when I said that. If he wants you to have this, which is eternal life. Life nowhere else but this right here. It's life or death. Nothing in between that. Now notice, so help me. God, I tell you the truth. That these are spiritually discerned to me. Discerned by the Holy Spirit and by every one of them has identified its place in the Bible. Amen. And this is what I want to touch to get everybody started for tomorrow night. What this great secret is that lays beneath this seal, I do not know. Now, are you going to believe what he said? Amen. I don't know 
it. I couldn't make it out. I couldn't tell it just what it said. But I do know this. I do know that there's them seven thunders other than them sails right close together. Amen. I know that. Amen. I don't know what the mystery is there, but I know it's them thunders. Amen. Right. Banging seven different times. It unfolded to something else that I seen. Then when I seen that, I looked for the interpretation. It flew across there. I couldn't make it out. That's exactly right. The hour isn't quite yet for it. But it's moving into that cycle. Do we know what a cycle is? It's changing over to that. Let me go ahead and hit down here a little bit. This It's coming up close. So the thing for you to do, remember that I speak to you in the name of the Lord. Be prepared for you don't know what time something can happen. We're there. Amen. Glory. Thank We're here at the time something can happen. Amen. Look how many years down the road we are since he gave us this title right here. So you call that a title? It's a title deed. Amen. Back to everything that got lost in the Garden Amen. of Eden. I am promised by this right here that I have this. I know it's mine because this is in me. Amen. I'm in this. The Word's in me and I'm in the Word. What about you? Amen. And I know that I'm going to become a young man before long. All diseases and sickness and pain is going to leave my body before long. Amen. I'll never have another sick day before long. Amen. Old age is going to disappear. Amen. Never bury a loved one again. Amen. Never have to run to the hospital to visit a loved one or get a phone call and say, pray so and so die. Amen. Never hear it again. Amen. How close are we to this? We got it. It's mine. Is it yours? What is it? It's called eternal life. It's called the book of redemption right here. This is the book. Is your name there? Somebody said, well, how will we know our name is there? And I hope you catch this. I'm quoting him, but I can open the book and read it right here. How will we know our name's there? He said he'll reveal the mystery. He won't come down and say, Garvin Gann or Edward Gallimore or Wayne Barker or Dale Field. He won't come down and say that. But he'll reveal his secrets. Amen. They will see it. Amen. They will accept it. Amen. Not argue with it. But when that happens, your name is in that book. Amen. I'm trying to say that's over the jar here. Amen. Seven thunders are going to wake a bride up. I believe Amen. with all my heart. I want that to jar you. If that has happened, then your name is in that book. What is that book? The book of redemption. Amen. He didn't redeem everything on the earth. He only come to redeem his own people. And right here he is. This is the word that redemption is paid for. Amen. It's yours. Redeem means bring back. That's why I can stand with that promise. Say, I was there before the foundation of the world. Amen. I was there when he hung on the cross. I was there when he come down off of the cross. Amen. I was there when he ascended on high. I was there with that prophet when the sword hit his hand. I was there with that prophet when the cloud appeared. Amen. 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 Do you believe you was there also? Because I don't remember. Well, you hear me now. Amen. If you hear that word, you had to be the word before the foundation of the world. Amen. Then he comes with the book. The lamb paid for it. Amen. The lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. Your name was put in the book before the foundation of the world. So you were there all the time. Amen. Now he's coming showing you you were mine. I never lost you. I can't lose you. I got you in my hand and I'm taking you back home. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you one of them? Amen. He's going to take us right back to the original again Amen. just like it was Amen. in the beginning. Oh, what a perfect man standing there. What a perfect woman standing there. Amen. Nothing ever to enter that body to cause it to rot, to cause it to die. Amen. Nothing. We got detoured from the Garden of Eden all that through these years. But Brother Dale, thank God we're just about back home. Amen. We're on our way. Redemption was paid for. Let me read one thing down here. I'm only telling you what I see. What had been told me, because it said right above here, that I'll probably send tens of thousands of my people away from me. Because they're going to say, Brother Branham is trying to make himself 
a prophet or something before God, he said, let me tell you, my brother, that is an error. Amen. He didn't try to make himself nothing. God made him exactly what he was Amen. and put him here. I'm only telling you what I've seen, what had been told me. I'll be coming over this again in a few nights because I want to go right back here and feel all in between here. I don't know who is going to. I don't even know what's going to take place. I do not know. I don't know. Listen, people, I do not know. That's the prophet. Amen. I believe him. Amen. And when somebody says he did know, well, did he? I believe his word. Amen. He said, I don't know. I do not know. I just know that there them seven thunders that hold that mystery. Amen. The heavens was quiet. Glory. Amen. How many times have we read that? I don't know. I, I couldn't make this out, but I know them seven thunders had. Amen. Seven thunders had. You've got to believe what he said. What is that seven seal? Is that where the third pool has come in? And most of the people have missed it. Seven seal, third pool, God's numbers. Amen. I don't know what else is going to happen. I don't know how many days. I see the wars and rumors of wars. I see that everywhere. Amen. I see Deb all over the land. Deb is riding as hard as he can go. Yeah. That's that last power. But among that, there's a little group got life road all over. Amen. And Satan will never take them out. I don't. Oh, he might put a few bodies in the grave, but he'll never get one of them. Amen. He come to take my place. He died so I couldn't die. Right. No way I can die. Lay this body down, I'll be somewhere else. Amen. I'm not going to die. You're not going to die. Amen. If you're God's, you belong to Him. But that's the only source of eternal life there is. Amen. I walked you through some things at night, but I believe Amen. it's so close. Amen. Glory. How close are we to just walking right over into the promised land? Amen. Glory. I believe we're close. Amen. Very close. And when we hear these things like we're hearing now, my name was there. In the Lamb's book of life. Amen. Glory. And no devil is going to make me doubt it. Amen. Do you love him, people? Amen. God bless you. Pray for the people. There's believers in Ukraine. You believe it? Amen. I believe there's some in Russia. Amen. There's some around the world. Because Joseph puts it up every now and then. Update on Ukraine. Amen. Talking to some of the believers that's there. Amen. How they're hiding. Trying to... Keep away from all that. There's believers all around the world. Amen. Pray for them that's over there. Amen. Amen. Say, I believe in prayer. I sure do. What about you? Amen. Pray for one another. Let me say this that I said the other night. Love one another. Amen. Get this junk out of your head. Well, so-and-so did this, so I'm going to do it. I ain't going to do it. Amen. If they treat me this way, don't look for me to treat them good. Every person here needs to quit worrying about what so-and-so is doing to you. Amen. You worry about number one and make sure you treat everybody right. Amen. Even when they treat you wrong. Amen. Even when they despitefully use you. Amen. Because there is a perfect body out here somewhere. Right in front of us. And you'll never get it without that perfect love. Amen. Do you love him, people? Amen. God bless you. Come tomorrow night looking for it. And I'm thanking God that we're able to get out here. Amen. Because I fight like crazy all week. Fight on the weekends. But I'm winning the battle. Amen. And I know how I'm winning. He won it for me. God bless you. Everybody stand.